it's the first time I've fished over here probably since the late 90s, I reckon. Steve, I haven't been, I've been over here for a walk round and that, but I haven't fished it for, for about over 20 years. And it's best it's ever been over here at the moment, by a, by a long shot. And the place is super clean. Uh, the swims are lovely, you know, the place is really grown up and all like, you know, the trees and everything around the lake has really matured. The water's really like clear, tap, tap water, which is nice. The fish seem, the fish that we caught last night are absolute beauties in real good condition. So yeah, I'd definitely, um, it's a good little winter water for me because it's literally 15 miles from my house. Um, I can, you know, while, I've, while my boy's at school, I've got to go and pick him up this afternoon from school. I can come down here and do a few hours and get on fish, you know, being a day ticket. So, yeah, it's, it's really nice down here. There's some big old fish in the front lake as well. When it, when it warms up in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to start having a little look around there and uh, have a look over there as well because there's a couple of really nice looking fish in there that are probably fish that we fished for all those years ago. There's a couple of nice commons in there that I put in there as well at my mum's pond about 20 odd years ago. Uh, my mum moved, she had a load of koi and she had two little commons that I'd got out of Wanstead Park uh, that I'd caught with a roach pole or someone had caught with a roach pole and they'd gone in there and they'd grown on in my mum's pond for about 10 years and they were beautiful little dark commons and because she was moving we had nowhere to put them. So all the ornamental fish, I put there was a little lake on uh, Upminster Cemetery, I put all the ornamental fish in there and the two little commons I brought over and put them in the front lake because I've had a long association with the front lake, you know. So they're still in there as well, I'm sure. It's doing a 40 common, but I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it'll be one, of, it'll be the fish that's for 40 common, no chance. Apparently there's one in there about 17, I reckon it might be, it might be one of them, you know. It's another common, we're hauling at the moment. Um, I've probably put about 100 spoms out over the last few hours. Just keep putting it out because it could keep getting bites. So all we're doing is crumbing up nutcracker and whole boilies. A brilliant, brilliant uh, fishing for January. First memories of the chase are um, fishing down in on the road bank by the bus stop swim. In them days it weren't a bus stop swim. But all it was, was just like a grass bank with like really long grass. So all of these lakes around here I've known and I've been coming over here since I was probably about 10, 10 to 13 years of age. So was you local then? Yeah, I was two buses away. You know, I was, <coughs> I lived at, um, <coughs> there used to be a bus go the full length for the Barking Road from where I lived and, uh, and it'd go to Barking and we'd get another bus from there and we could get here on two buses. So when I was at school, I'd have been coming here on buses and bringing tackle on buses, coming over and, and stuff like that. That's how I first sort of got fishing over here. Uh, we used to do quite a few like overnighters in the winter on here. We've done a lot of overnighters in the winter, but it was a long time ago. And, and these lakes in them days, um, if you got a double, it was a good fish. You know, if you got a double, uh, especially out of here. My first uh, f f f catching fish out of the back lake at the chase would have been in the early 80s, me, uh, Tony Moore and um, Danny Gill and we would have been over here using peanuts. Uh, peanuts were the bait in them days over here and we'd come over with a bucket of peanuts, you put out seven or eight pouchfuls of peanuts, a couple of double peanuts out there and uh, it was when we first started using the hair rigs, sort of really early 80s and uh, we were catching loads of little carp out of here, up to about 10 pound. 10, 11 pound, you know, but average about six or seven pound, but you could catch three or four in a day. What, what was your, your sort of go-to bait? When I, f when I first fished the front lake, I was making milk protein baits. The first fish I would have caught out the front lake would have been on milk proteins. Uh, that's what we used to make and fish with over there. I remember one year we baited it up with maize. Maize, this is my early 80s. We baited it with maize, the front lake, me and Perry Moncur. And uh, when, we, when we got round to fishing it at the start of the season, we fished boilies over the top of maize. But, you know, then I, in the eight, late 80s, we started fishing with fish mills on there. We took the fish mills over there and uh, done a few sessions and I think we had the lake record. Uh, Tony caught the lake record, it was a low 20 then. 
you know. So we was uh, we were fishing on there really early days with fish mills, piling them in, and in them days there was hardly any trees over there. So it was different lakes. You could walk along the bank, flick it in, and walk along and fish further up and that's what we used to do, stuff like that. So we used to fish in close but walk it along the bank and just drop it in. You know, so your disturbance in your swim wouldn't affect where you were fishing. And uh, the front lake in them days, you know, was just starting to get 20 pounders. And this would have been late 80s. And me, uh, you know, Tony Moore, Andy, Andy uh, McTavish, who used to fish with us up at Longfield. He, we used to come down here, we used to drive all the way from Longfield down here and do an overnighter. And in them days, we used to call it the floodlit. Because uh, on the road bank, on uh, the, the front lake, we used to just f set up in the dark because you had the street lights. So you could tie your rigs under the street lights, you could pretty much cast and see your lead land under the street lights on the, f on the front lake. So we used to call it the floodlit lake. And uh, we caught some beautiful 20s out of there that winter. So, did you hear that one then? <laughs> just jumped behind me. I'm on them, aren't I? <laughs> Come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody Slow it down, put yourself at ease Time to live it live Nice common here Spotted nutcracker Little pop-up out there uh, Done me six bites last night so it's been really busy. Uh, this one here just took off. Love the dark part. Lake of the Chase, always been known for a Commons Lake. This is my first ever mirror out of the Back Lake Chase. So I'm really happy, he's a really nice scaly fish. And let's get him back in the water. Cool. <laughs> 